Fertility complications can have a dramatic effect on couples, but knowing what options are available can not only help build your family, but also can deeply enrich your relationship. Joining us now with new fertility preservation methods for both men and women is Dr. Paul Turek. Welcome Hi, back. Dr. Good to see you nice to see you too. Yeah. What, what is fertility preservation? Fertility preservation is kind of a new field in medicine. It's gotten a lot of interest lately because so many patients who have cancer who are of reproductive age are surviving. Mm -hmm. It's about 80%, and we're talking 140,000 patients annually in the U.S. will have cancer, and most of those will survive. There's probably two million survivors of reproductive age that think about fertility. It's the number two thing on their list. So how big are the advances we've made recently in preserving fertility? Well, there's, there's some older established 50-year-old methods. So one of them is to freeze things. Oh, so, right. so both with embryos and eggs, and with embryos and sperm, you can freeze things. So okay. that's hundreds of years old. Yeah, right. And uh, there's something new. So you freeze sperm in that and you freeze you freeze embryos in this. Really? That's so tiny. And so called, these are called straws, and you load them at the tip of this thing and then pull it back yeah. and seal it. And that's how they're frozen, and they're triple labeled so you don't lose track of them. But what's new from these is you can freeze not only sperm mm -hmm. that's collected, but you can also freeze tissue from the testis, which has sperm in it. And now, and I'm working on this too, you can actually freeze tissue from the testis of prepubertal boys who can't give you sperm. Wow. And you can take the stem cells from those potentially, wow. or earlier germ cells, and you can use those. And for women, what's new about freezing is you can actually freeze eggs. So we talked about embryos, but eggs are before they're fertilized, and they're much more delicate, and they don't recover as well, and it's almost experimental, but it's used all the time uh, in cases of emergency IVF, emergency mm -hmm. procedures yeah. where you need to freeze something before. So given how delicate the eggs are, how reliable is this technique? in preserving them. Embryo, embryo freezing is well established. Yeah. There's actually embryo donation now mm -hmm. to yeah. couples. Uh, but egg freezing is relatively experimental and new and it's the freeze thaw process that kills yeah. it. So it's much more liable to damage. Mm -hmm. But remarkably, they survive. Sperm are very hardy, yeah. eggs are not. Uh, so the things you want frozen for fertility is sperm and embryos, but eggs are becoming much better at, the efficiency is getting higher now. Gotcha. Are there foods you can eat or things to avoid that can help you preserve your fertility? Yeah, I mean, that's a long discussion. There's yeah. lots of things, but staying healthy, treating your body like a temple, avoiding cancer and chemotherapy, mm. yeah. things like that. Of course, yeah. Yeah. Um, if you can. One really new method for men is something that I actually developed. Uh, it was, it's about 13 years old, but it's really catching fire now with some new publications, but it's a way to capture, so men who have cancer sometimes have no sperm in their ejaculates afterwards, yeah. and so you can find sperm in their testicles and pockets. And this is a way of non-invasively finding sperm by mapping out the, pr it's like GPS for the testicle. Oh. Right. And then you would go in, find the sperm at a later date, and use high technology approaches with their own sperm that you find in the testicle and have babies that way. Is that with, like with an x-ray or how do you This how is do you a do mapping map technique with okay. a fine needle. Oh. It's a procedure takes about an hour under local anesthesia. Okay. Very effective. In fact, uh, Lance Armstrong caught on to it. And so this month, Lance Armstrong Foundation put out their first journal called Live Strong Quarterly, huh. uh, and Lance is on the front, and they highlighted the technique in the journal, you know, in this journal this month on uh, some cancer survivors, right. so very effective. Uh, maybe this is a dumb question. So, I mean, you, it's best to preserve the embryos, the eggs, the sperm before you get before you have treatment, obviously, because right. chemotherapy can kill everything. So, Lance Armstrong actually just had a child. Did he still have did he still have, uh, was some of his sperm saved after, because he went through a lot of treatment and I'm not supposed radiation. to talk about that. Oh, you are? No. I was just curious about that. Or was it, oh, okay. Or I didn't know if he saved his sperm from before. So, but most of the time you save, if, you, if I'm a woman, I know I'm going to undergo some treatment or if I'm a man, it's better to, to freeze or save it ahead of time. Right. So right, because you don't it's know called it's exposed versus unexposed. Right. And I think exposed gametes, sperm, eggs, are, are we worry about those more. Yeah. We published that men who use this technique after cancer don't have higher birth defect rates in their kids. Mm. And we haven't seen that with embryos, but it's still new with embryos and eggs. What about age? Like, what about I'm it? 37. They're like, are you going to have babies? I mean, how is there By the way, I, I almost wore sunglasses <laughs> today looking at is your there, Do I need to <laughs> start freezing my eggs? Uh, it's up to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, we'll save that for after the show. Save that, that, for, save that for, a private for a private consultation. 
<laughs> my mom and I had this discussion recently. She's like, you need to freeze some eggs. And I, I was think like, it's, so, you know, is it the holy grail? Well, it's inefficient. So, okay. but you know, why don't you try it home first? Okay. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> you Dr. Know, we'll talk later. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.